Hey y'all, be reacting to Glyphonir episode number four. And I'll be starting my reaction from the seven second mark in one, zero, go. All right. Oh. <laughs> Holy! And the music is so epic! <laughs> I wonder how she's gonna react now that she knows it's. <laughs> I thought for a second she was shocked because she saw her, her own edge on her sister. <laughs> probably not the worst, probably the worst time for Claire to lose her cool because, or you know what, for her she probably thinks it's the right time because it's like, yo, this chick tried to go for the kill so I might as well just cap her off. <laughs> oh man. Well, you know, I really love moments like this because some of the first episodes were emphasizing how Claire being problematic helped them out. But now it's showing you how with Suichi's restraint, had they just gone about it, gone about it the normal route, like how Suichi wanted things to go down, it, they would have probably been better off. So I actually really, really dig that. Show me that now. Claire isn't going to be the only one pitching in great solutions. It's also going to be Suichi too. So I actually like that. That the narrative is balancing those two out. Because I see, at least in way too many animes where they just, where there's like a duel like this. Usually they just give all the cool badass moments. Or not the cool badass moments, but the cool brainy moments to like one character and the other one gets neglected. And like I hear, they're not, they're not falling for the trap that other animes fall into normally. So I'm really, really digging what they're doing. And it is back! Huh! So going by the, that... So going by that, it does confirm that she probably wouldn't have succeeded even if she would have gone for the gunshots in the previous episode, so I actually like that too. Huh. <laughs> oh my! talking all casually. <laughs> uh. I mean, at least she's able to finally say that to her. Oh, gleefully <laughs> smiling, trying to get rid of any Culpability. <laughs> that's not really being a bad parent. No, that's really not bad parenting. Okay, I wonder what. Okay, that's. Okay, that. But I don't... <laughs> oh, fuck! Damn, that's gonna be a big-ass psychological punch against Claire. But the thing is, I don't think Claire's gonna want that kind of protection. At all.
But then that's actually a lot of good characterization for player sister though. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I mean, I think anyone in our spell would have probably reacted similarly, so. Wait, whoa, 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 what the? Whoa. He's got a point. <laughs> hmm. Oh man, I love those warm heart to heart moments there. Didn't get to see a date, but hell, that's even better. At least in my book, seeing them actually come that much closer together like that. <laughs> what a quick way of changing this tune. Polygon. Oh, I love that stuff too, where she's becoming really, really protective of our Suichi now. Hmm. Probably gonna take that coin though. That's pain. Yeah, I had a feeling. That is a major looking injury. Makes sense. Kind of reminds me of those tonics from uh, from a Bioshock game. Speaking of which, I actually happen to have these two. Kind of reminds me of those um, tonics where if you drink it, it can help either heal you or enhance your abilities. Hmm. I don't even know why I had the Bioshock games there. Oh! Holy. It's actually nice to get to know the limitations of that form, then. And in a way, I kind of like it, too, where you can just... You can just heal all willy-nilly, too. Giving the bottle... Battle's actually a lot more grab and sauce. Now we know the limitations of healing, where you're going to need to have those... Coins... in order to actually fully heal, so I like that type of stuff. Oh, okay. Kind of feel sorry for the body he took then in that case.
<laughs> Holy. He certainly does look pretty thirsty. He's gonna get slapped and he'll deserve it. Oh! <laughs> Yo, that's worse than slap. <laughs> he deserved it. He deserved No, nah, I'm actually on Claire's side. He deserved that kick to the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Okay, no, that was kind of creepy there. <laughs> but it actually gives an epic speed feat, though. Holy... Hmm. Huh? Oh, so I'm assuming he's gonna transform into Claire's physical appearance then. there it's good to know that whoever he took the form of he didn't probably kill that individual at least I would like to imagine that going by how he needed a hair to take quite his physical form question is when? I mean, I guess I could... I mean, I guess I could imagine how. He probably just knocked him out or something. Okay, so going by that, that's implying that no one's ever actually seems to have attempted that before, from the looks of it. <laughs> hey, it's only fair. Anyone would be creeped the hell out if their physical form was taken. <laughs> I mean, that, for all she knew, she could have died like earlier, so yeah. Enjoy that hug, Sushi. Enjoy it. And I actually kind of like how you kind of see some of the battle damage where his head's recovered, but you still see a scar there from where it was ripped on his transformed form, so I kind of like those animation details there. Gives it even more grittiness. Huh. Oh. So I wonder if his if the friends were sealed within the coins or something. I 
And that explains why they're fighting them. Kind of a fuck up scenario though, if you just break it down. No what? That! Oh man, that, this dude is a piece of work. They actually are. Can't blame him for getting hooked, man. This man has great taste. He's a man of culture. So going by that, he's implying that anyone with the 100 coins can have any kind of wish they want. Oh, this vague fucker. Yeah, good that she didn't straight up agree because if you're become a gatherer, you're pretty much gonna set yourself up for fights. Huh. Oh. That actually further emphasizes why she tried to go for the rounds of actually in herself, so. <laughs> oh, so he actually really, really enjoys. Enjoys those ones where she sees inside of Sweet Sheen. That's cool. Hope she doesn't jinx herself, but she'll probably be in a situation where she's just gonna have to use the coin eventually. But in a way, that them being completely different isn't necessarily a bad thing because they kind of help balance each other out. Oh, holy! <laughs> Yo, he looked like he was gonna snap the arm off. <laughs> I like that though. Makes sense though, you'd have to be. But the shit he just went through? I could. That would change anyone. That's like a probably decades of traumatic experiences at once. When it comes to what he suffered through, I could age him emotionally decades. <laughs> Where'd that come from? 
I don't know, I'm really, really curious to see where this is going to lead. Mm. Holy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Oh, that's really sweet there. Hmm. Hey, I'd say to me that's the only it's the only plausible solution in that scenario, so she made the right answer. Yeah, there is no guarantee that he's bound to just tell the truth. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I always love that swagger. But honestly, I do have a feeling that she's gonna have to use the coin eventually, Claire, because if there's gonna be multiple enemies, there might be a scenario where she's not gonna be able to actually run up to Suichi and go inside of him when he's in his transformed form, at least. That's gonna be my guess. No, no. And you know what? This idiots. The more I listen to it, the more addicting it gets to listen to. All right, I'm gonna rate this one in. That was an awesome nine out of ten caliber episode. At least we get to see the mindset of Claire's sister. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure. And we get to see that, yeah, the parents of Claire, they weren't exactly the most great examples of beacons of role models. And I like how it shows you how crazy the sister of Claire actually is, because when you break it down, it's like, no, nah, they didn't do anything that bad, but it isn't that sort of the realm of impossibility with people doing extreme things for minor reasons. I mean, I've read on news reports where there was one time where they expressing kill this dude just for like $12. So, I'd say when it comes to motives, it's not, it's, um, oh, crazy enemies. I'd say when it comes to motives, it actually makes Claire's sister much more interesting because in life, oh, people have killed for lesser reasons. Now, anyways, um, aside from that, I gotta say, I actually really, really dug in this episode how you actually have Suichi and Clara Bond more, especially when she was just happy to see Suichi back in his regular human form and hugged him. That was really cute and endearing. So that was some nice emotional bonding moments there that really put a smile to my face. Then aside from that, it was actually finally nice to get to see information about the coins and their significance where if you get a hundred you can actually do something huge with them which is also another plus it explains why people are all going all gun-ho against each other trying to just get the one up on them so that was also nice and it does a great job of answering some of the questions that were built up from the series and additionally it sets up the series for lots and lots and lots of fights so, that's also another positive element there, too. And at the very least, it gives our two main characters an endgame goal. Then on top of that, 
what I also enjoy about this episode too is it kind of expands the stakes considering that now, yeah, we have 100% confirmation that aliens are involved and additionally, since I'm assuming Claire's sister is going to have to be some kind of obstacle they're going to have to get through, it's going to give the future battle more emotional stakes. So that's I thought this episode did well, not just giving Claire and Suichi character development, but in also giving the story a bigger scale, and I really love that kind of stuff. And on top of that, what I really dug about this episode too was just the whole intensity, like just the emotions in it, you know? Just seeing like Claire react the way she did, just going all out against her sister, still not succeeding, was actually pretty sad. And then to see her sister actually spare to Claire, I was just like, damn. That was, that was actually pretty dang epic. So all in all, yeah, this episode hit it off. Even the animation and art was pretty beautiful. Not, and this was just a build up episode. That's what makes this series really, really impressive, because I've seen some animes, they only, like, try hard for the action sequences, but for the build-up episodes, they don't bother. Here, they try hard, it doesn't matter if it's a build-up or an action episode. And the voice performances were amazing, and that's why I thought this episode was 9 out of 10 tier. But anyways, y'all, these are my thoughts on the episode. Be sure to comment on your thoughts, how you feel about my reaction, or the episode itself in the comment section below. Share the video, subscribe if you want more vids, and I'll see you guys later if you come back for more. Alright y'all, thanks so much for watching. Have a great and safe day everyone. Bye bye.